All right, guys, what's happening? I've been hitting you guys with a lot of different foods. I've been hitting you with pastas. I've been hitting you guys with breakfast. But today, I'm going to hit you with some brunch. So sit back, relax, and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. Oh, you rose. So check it out. Today, we're gonna do a Monte Cristo sandwich. And for those of you who don't know who that is, that's pretty much a fried ham and cheese sandwich, but kind of like French toast fried ham and cheese sandwich. But you guys know me by now, I'm gonna take that and knock it up a couple notches, because that's just what I do. You know what I'm saying? So here, I'm gonna make my French toast custard first, right? So I have eggs in here, right? I'm gonna put a little bit of cinnamon in here, okay? Just a little bit. A little bit of salt, just a little bit of salt. And then I have some sugar right here that I'm gonna add to this. I'm gonna add some vanilla to this because I'm making it like a French toast batter, right? Just a typical French toast batter. However you make French toast, that's how you would make this. I have some milk right here. Some people will use heavy cream. Some people will use half and half. And then what I'm gonna do is just wix this up, right? Once I wix this up, I'll show you guys what's next. So, typical Monte Cristo sandwich. You can use ham, you can use turkey, whatever you like, whatever you wanna put on the inside. But here I have some honey ham, I have some baby Swiss, and I have some white cheddar cheese. What I have right here is some raspberry preserves, right? I'm just gonna take that and spread it. Now, this is gonna be a layered sandwich, right? So I'm not gonna put this on every single bread. I'm gonna put this on the two that's on the bottom, right? And then I'm just gonna spread this evenly on here like this, okay? You guys just, I'm gonna spread these on the rest of this bread right here. And man, it's gonna be so good, guys. So I got that spread it out pretty good. So now we're gonna start building this sandwich right here. So now I'm gonna take some cheddar cheese, and that's white cheddar. I'm gonna take some of this ham right here, put the ham just like that on this sandwich. And then what I'm gonna do next is take another piece. Let's just put some of this baby Swiss right here on here. Take some of this baby Swiss, right? And then I'm gonna take this right here, put it on top, right? Now I just made a sandwich, right? I'm gonna take some more ham. Man, this is gonna be so good. And then some more cheddar cheese, and then I'm gonna close the sandwich. You guys saw that? I'm gonna do that again, right? This time I'm gonna put ham on the bottom of this one, and then I'm gonna put some of this Swiss cheese on here. And then I'm gonna take this bread and put it right here, okay? Then I'm gonna take some ham, Put it here, put some cheese here. Easy, right? And then I'm gonna close the sandwich. Now, what I'm gonna do next, guys, is gonna blow you guys' mind, all right? Now, it's time to make this thing a little bit interesting, right, because this brunch. And when you make brunch, you just wanna take it over the top, because you don't do it that often, right? So now I take this sandwich right here, this big old double layer ham and cheese sandwich with the raspberry, I'm gonna dip it in my French toast batter, just like that, right? Just dip it in there real good. We gotta get in there, right? And then I take it right here. Now, right here I have some almond cereal that I grinded up. Whichever almond cereal you like, just right, just because, just whatever, you know, whatever the name of cereal you like. And then I take this in here and I put it in here like this. You guys follow me so far? Oh, y'all see what I see? And it's looking good already, right? We ain't even start cooking it yet. Then I set it to the side, okay? Take this other sandwich right here. Dip it in there like that. Man, you gotta get good in there. Get it in there real good. Dip it in there like that. Then we bring this sandwich over here. This is gonna be something really good, man. You do this when some company come over, man. They gonna think you the Master King chef, right? You ain't even gotta tell them you got the recipe from me. You can take it and you can just hide this one right here. I'm giving this one to you. Right, we're gonna put this in like this, and then I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna fry this up just like a French toast, guys. Don't go anywhere. So, y'all see that, right? Y'all see how good this looks, man? We ain't even cooking yet. So, what I'm gonna do is put some butter in here, and you want it on a medium heat because that sweetness on that on the outside breading it will burn. So, you want to make sure you have it on a nice medium heat that way the cheese can melt and everything's nice and hot on the inside. So I'm just gonna take this butter right here and melt it down. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to that. 
And once this butter melts down like I wanted to, we place our Monte Cristo sandwiches in here just like this. And we want to just set it in there, man. Just put one right here on a nice medium heat. And what we're gonna do is just let that cook undisturbed for like five minutes. We ain't gonna even bother with it. So, in five minutes, meet me back right chill. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. All right, so let's flip this over and see what it's looking like on one side. All right, so we take that. See that? Nice and golden, just like that, man. Looking so good. Flip that over just like that. See how it's nice and melted? And we are gonna let the other side go for another five minutes. Man, this sandwich is looking good. Nice and layered. Beautiful looking sandwich, guys. Man, it's looking so good, man. I, you guys have no idea, man. You smell those oats and that corn flake. Man, it just smells like brunch. Like, and there's no other way to explain it. So right now, I'm just gonna take this out, right? and set it on my cutting board. And then we get ready to plate this up, man. Real simple and easy. How, how beautiful is that? Man, I can't wait. I can't wait, I can't wait. So look, this is pretty much done, man. Real easy, simple, one, two, three. You just made a ham and cheese sandwich, French toast, jacked up 10 levels. That's all you did. So what I'm gonna do is just take this and just cut it in half, just like that, so you guys can see what we did look at this beautiful sandwich man nice and custard you see the raspberry on there so i'm gonna do is just set that one right here and i'm gonna set this right here man this is looking so good man i might as well cut this one in half go we we'll cut this one in half right here see that again look at that how beautiful does that look ham cheese swiss i'm gonna put that one right there just like that guys now what I'm gonna do, because this thing right here needs some loving, right? So I'm gonna take some good old maple syrup, right? Maple syrup. And then I'm just gonna drizzle it all over this Monte Cristo. Just drizzle it. And we might even do a slow motion thing for y'all. How good does that look? Man, just drizzle that maple syrup over that thing like that there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now I got some berries that I'm gonna put, like one right here. And I took that berry and I fanned it out for y'all. I'll show y'all how to do that a little later. It's real simple, it's one, two, three, right? Put another fan berry like right here in the back on the side like that. And then I'm just gonna take some strawberries and put them in random places like that, right? Even one right here, right? Man, this is looking good. I'm gonna take some of these wonderful blackberries. I'm out with the blackberry around that thing. Oh, that's a good blackberry. So good, right? Guys, then I got some oats, right? The same oats that was in that cereal, I just sprinkled it around just like that, right? Man, this is looking good. We are almost done. I take some powdered sugar and I take some powdered sugar and I take some powdered sugar and I just let it rain on that thing, baby. That's how we do. And that is Chef J-Rod's Monte Cristo sandwich, baby. Y'all know what, what's up? We gotta go take some pictures, snap, snap, you know? Might go live a little bit. And then when we come back, you know what? I can taste it right now for y'all. How about that? So check this out. So what I'm gonna do is take this sandwich right here, right? And get some of the syrup right here. Put the syrup over that thing like that there. Man, look at that sandwich. Mm, 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 mm. 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 God. Man, that ham and cheese with that raspberry inside, it is so good. You get the cheddar cheese with that baby Swiss. And the kicker is that crunch. Those almonds and that cereal that we put in there made it so delicious, guys. Like, man, it's so delicious. You guys already know. That is fire right there. That is straight fire. Hey, don't forget, like, share, and subscribe to my videos. I appreciate you guys. We just keep going, going higher and higher and higher. And nowhere to go but straight to the top, right? And just in case y'all didn't notice, this right here 
as what an awesome chef looks like. And I'm awesome because y'all are awesome for subscribing to my channel. And remember guys, always keep God first in your life and everything will fall into place. Thank you guys for watching. God bless. I have some baby Swiss and I have some, oh man, what kind of cheese is that? <laughs>